More than 7,000 miles away from the waters of Indonesia, a rescue mission is underway. Fox 13's Lauren Dodvin takes us to the Seattle Aquarium, where three young sharks could prove saviors for their wild brethren. So we are in Seattle, which is uh, arguably not a tropical climate. Coral reefs and sandy flats are a far cry from our kelp forests and rocky coasts. But what's happening here on the shores of chilly Elliott Bay will make a profound difference in ocean away. We're talking about areas uh, surrounding Indonesia, uh, Papua New Guinea. What's called the Coral Triangle, home to a curious looking shark the likes of which you've never seen in Puget Sound. So um, oatmeal and cuda are Indo-Pacific leopard sharks. Cuda's spots are much less distinctive and he has less of them. But oatmeal's spots are much more distinctive. You're looking at two of the Seattle Aquarium's most adorable residents. And odds are if you have visited the Ocean Pavilion, you've spotted them swimming gracefully amongst their neighbors. The bowmouth guitarfish, the eagle rays, but what you can't see here in the windows is what happens before doors open, and that is breakfast. Each one of our animals has a diet set out for the day. What senior aquarist Kelly Douglas is in charge of serving up is certainly not what she scarfed down before heading to work. My bagel and peanut butter um, is probably not something they, <laughs> they would want. And I don't think I would want this as my, as my breakfast either. <laughs> some days it's lobster, others it's shrimp. So today they're getting some squid. Removing beaks by hand, meticulously measuring each gram, she notes, oatmeal eats less than kuda. But hey, a girl can eat. She's an, a food anytime girly. <laughs> they like their snacks and they like their, their naps. And I think both of those things call to me. <laughs> Each morning, like clockwork, Kelly steps out above the staggering 360,000 gallon waters below for an a la carte unlike any other. This is their um, feeding platform. And basically, this is a flat place for them to come up and target to. Oh my gosh, she's right up as, already. As you can see, yeah, they're, they know where they're supposed to be. We have this uh, bell that we ring under the water and that um, is their indication that we're starting the session. The red and white thing I'm holding is their target. It's about time to eat. Usually a feeding takes um, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. It is really fun to be able to see them up close every day. By doing the training that we do with them, um, it allows us to gain a familiarity with the animals um, and be able to tell if they're stressed or need a break. Because the reality is this species is fragile, struggling. In the wild, they may call paradise home, but their time there has been anything but. Hunting has jeopardized this peaceful predator's future. They also get caught in, in fishing nets as bycatch. So kuda and oatmeal are two of three Indo-Pacific leopard sharks at the aquarium who are part of a larger conservation story. Um, oatmeal will have her choice of, of gentlemen um, in, in kuda and Laszlo. Um, and once they reach a, a breeding age, um, hopefully they will also be a part of that uh, transfer of eggs from Seattle to Indonesia. Seattle has joined a 44 aquarium alliance spanning 15 countries to help re-shark the ocean. So shark eggs are, um, of all species, are commonly called uh, mermaid's purses, um, kind of an oblong, really dark brown color um, with um, almost a like bulbous section in the middle. And something that's neat about them is if you shine a light through them, you can see the baby shark moving. And these fertilized eggs, they're sent thousands of miles away to shark nannies in places like Indonesia, where they're born, raised as pups, then released into protected habitats. Right now, our little lady oatmeal is only a year and a half old. So we've got some time to burn until she's of breeding age. But in the meantime, we're acting here at the Seattle Aquarium as kind of the layover for the eggs from other aquariums. 
and already more than 500 sharks have returned to the Coral Triangle. I think it's really neat that your local aquarium might be impacting the, the population of Indo-Pacific leopard sharks in the wild for the better. Reporting in Seattle, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.